everybody. Today we're doing a more hopefully lighthearted um, situation. We are talking about and taking a look at just insane home tours because I don't know if it's maybe just a me thing, but I am obsessed with looking at these multi-million dollar homes and things that I'll never be able to afford, but like, I just wanna look what's inside. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, I think I see Mads is in the chat somewhere. So she's picked out, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different things for us to look at. Ah, <sighs> so how should we start this one? Should we start with the cheap house? I'm wondering if we should start with, <laughs> and I wish I could air quotes here, like cheap house. Okay, many air quotes all over the place because the cheap house is $17 million. That's just, ugh, makes me sick to say that that's the the least expensive house. Is ugh. It's gross, but let's take a look. Brand new, fully custom mega mansion. This is insane. Situated high up in the hills of Bel Air. My name is Eric Conover, and in this episode, we'll be touring this one of a- Can you just look at all those roof lines? Like, that is insane. Like, how do you need that many things? Like, that many roof line or spaces? Like, you've got this top seating area with more seating on the side. Looks like it's a big fire pit. There's a bar. Then you've got this seating area. Chairs. Chairs, 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 chairs. Looks like the same fire pit again, but twice. And then looks like a third seating area with a different fireplace. But and then this big pool, which that are those like cutouts maybe so you can see underneath the house. Like that's got to be what it is. Go off. Confirmed. Rich people have 15 asses. <laughs> it should not be that good, but it is. What kind home with the listing agent, James Harris. Ooh. Whoa. Hi guys, I'm James Harris from Million Dollar Listing, Los Hi, Angeles. Hi James Harris. And you guys are in for a okay. very special tour today at 1475. Fucking hell. This is like Minecraft. If all the graphics were rendered really, really well. Bel Air Road. The Whoa. property is 12,000 square feet approximately. Huh? 12,000 square feet. Of land, six bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a glass encased temperature controlled oh wine cellar, God. gym, movie theater, several bar areas and a rooftop deck oh there's that rooftop deck again one of multiple areas yeah 11 bathrooms twelve thousand square feet oh my god but can you imagine though just the luxury of that like well obviously we're all just going to be imagining it but like <laughs> 11 bathrooms you could have 11 like okay if i had 11 friends i could invite 11 friends over and i could we could all just shit simultaneously <laughs> Yeah, BRB, go in a bathroom nine. You got walkie talkies. and Everyone's like, Shh. hey, what bathroom are you in? Shh. I'm in bathroom three. Where are you at? Shh. I'm at the rooftop deck bathroom, bathroom 11. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I would love that. All right, let's go. Deck to die for. So as you come into the property, you have these beautiful metal glass. Okay, I just want to say, this is a very Cali thing though these like big glass like door wall separator things from like the street because usually these homes are literally built up right onto the street because there's no room in LA for anything but I've never liked it I get it when I drive around LA or whatever you know and I s drive past a house that like looks like this I'm like oh <laughs> I'm just gonna keep keep putting along like I can't afford to stop in this neighborhood so as you enter the property, you have these incredible double this is height insane. ceilings. Art collection to die for that has been curated for this property. Oh, I don't give a shit about the art collection. My God. And an Whoa, what did that door do? Did that door just spin? And an incredible, warm, inviting home. Let's go inside and check it out. I do like the black Making doors though, or whatever. Those doors look really nice. This hallway, through this door to the home office. This room just gives off Jesus. an executive feel. You have okay. the soundproof walls throughout the office. Soundproof walls. Of course, we have the iconic Marlon Brando in The Godfather. Leaving the office back out to the hallway, we're going to head into the main living space of this okay. home. Oh, is that a random bar? Plan. Everything is, is that open. a random bar just right You've there? pocket Fleetwood doors that are automated, so you have this amazing indoor-outdoor flow. The doors You've open themselves? French oak wooden oh floors and every single section of the house. 
Okay, I will say like in the background. Okay. Same energy. It's the same energy. I will not be told otherwise. <laughs> else has what I like to call a oh my God, that's water. Oh, the, damn it. It was a water the area. They had a waterfall in their house. Smart fireplace. 800 gallon Ooh. Fish tank. Ooh, I, I do like fish tanks though. I'm sorry I keep stopping this. I really like fish tanks though. Casually just in their living room when you enter the home. You go from your formal bar into your formal dining that I hate that. 12 people. Oh, I hate, I you hate this. Order. There's nothing, of, no. No. This is just no. And, and even this, like the carpet thing that you would think would add like some texture or warmth into it. It looks like it's inlaid stone or something because of the little marks that you see on the on the uh, black parts of it. The, it's not even real. Look at those ugly lights. They look like diapers that are gold plated on the inside. Chin. You have the sub zero fridge freezer. I hate gold display. fixtures. I you hate it. I maker, dis dislike all of this. Look at this convection. silver lined appliances, right? Or chrome or whatever. And then they've got, you can see in the background, gold fixtures. I don't, I don't like, my brain does not like this. I am uncomfy. Ooh, okay. I do like that. I, this, this little, this thing, the corner thing where the you guys see that i like that that's the one thing i like so far i'm really loving that that looks really pretty the doors are so nice people are entertaining in the backyard but they can also be in the kitchen but you have this great connection flow between the two areas oh. which is what people hmm. want well the table's hideous but this is not bad whoa that pool though oh <gasps> wow shit damn this great connection flow between the two areas, which is what people want in LA. I do like the outside indoor area. That pool is, oh God, I can't get over the pool. This looks like something I have legitimately built in like, oh, actually I, in Sims as well, but also in Minecraft. So look at the house behind it. Like you're so close to your neighbors too for $12 million. And you are up against your neighbor's houses. I know it's LA or whatever, but. Off in the distance, you can perfectly see okay. those deep blues of the Pacific Ocean matching those uh, deep blues of the okay. Pacific. You have the infinity edge waterfall swimming pool complete with. I will say the pool is nice. And those do look like they're skylight windows to a level below. My God, that is so cool. Okay, we're going downstairs. Really Look at, some... I like those lights. So one of the cool features is you have this 30-foot chandelier that drops from Jesus the ceiling Christ. all the way down to the lower level. You have this unbelievable Water. Venetian plaster that goes what all the, the way up, which really brings warmth and depth. Look, to... when he said it was Venetian plaster or whatever, all I just heard was like little dollar sounds like cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. That's a lot of money. I don't know how much it is, but it's a lot. Let's see the wine cellar, gym, and movie theater. Let's go to that. Oh, glass in case wine cellar. So much glass. That's got to be so much cleaning to do. Somebody wants to do a little. Are you fucking tasting. kidding me? They can. It's nice and cold in here. Maybe light what a cigar. The hell? Open up a beautiful bottle of red. And all those wine out. bottles are fake. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I don't like any of those pieces of art. I don't know why. And when you wake up tomorrow with a terrible hangover, we then have this glass encased gym so that you can come in here. What the heck? A beautiful red wine you drank the night before. Get on the bike. Where's the weights? Do they have Run weights in here? Or is this like all cardio? From the home gym, you okay. step across. That was, that was it. There were no weights. It was like all cardio and a fucking chick in a one piece. Well, that was disappointing. Jim, no, let's go to the movie theater. I can't. Suede wall covering. This is terrible. Rolls Royce lighting. Imagine a seventeen million dollar house. They just said Rolls Royce fucking lighting in the whatever the hell room this is. The movie theater. And you have a Joker painting in your house. Oh my god! You don't get it. Mad surround sound, and this just what makes the for the perfect movie night at home. So when you have a house like this that already has the office and the movie theater and the gym, this is just insanity. It gives you a reason to not have to leave your home. How do you do and yet this? Just How do you like live in a house like this? This doesn't feel like a home. To do exactly that.
Like it just feels Moving like a personal home theater. We're gonna make our way back. I don't know, like an exhibit. We're gonna head off to the right here, and we're gonna enter the dedicated what the massage fuck? room. Here we. Okay, I don't even understand this. I don't even get this. Who owned this house? Let's see, lounge bar, outdoor space. I think I'm done with this house, to be honest. After the Joker painting, I'm not gonna lie. After you guys pointed that out, I don't think I can. I don't think I can unsee that. I don't think I want to unsee it. I think I'm just done. <laughs> I think I'm just fucking done with it after that. Feel your feel